सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट द ऑडियो बुक पूर्वी टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ इंग्लिश फॉर ग्रेड सिक्स पेज नंबर थर्टीन यूनिट वन फेबल्स एंड फोक टेल्स चैप्टर टू द रेवन एंड द फॉक्स लेट एस डू दीज एक्टिविटीज बिफोर वी रीड वन वी नो दैट फ्रॉग्स क्रोक Did you know that ravens also croak? Two. Which animal is shown to be cunning in stories? Circle the correct answer. Your options are A. Tiger, B. Fox, C. Bear. There's a picture shown on the top of this page with a fox looking greedily at a crow who is holding a chapati in his beak. Let us read. Mr. Raven was perched upon a limb, and Reynard the fox looked up at him, for the raven held in his great big beak a morsel the fox would go far to seek. Said the fox in admiring tones, "My word, Sir Raven, you are a handsome bird. Such feathers!" If you would only sing, the birds of these woods would call you the king. The raven, who did not see the joke, forgot that his voice was just a croak. He opened his beak in his foolish pride, and down fell the morsel the fox had eyed. Ha ha ha! Laughed the fox. And now you know. Ignore sweet words that make you glow. Pride, my friend, is rather unwise. I'm sure this teaching is quite a surprise. This poem is written by Jean de La Fontaine. Page number fourteen. Let us discuss one. Fill in the blanks by choosing the correct option. A. Stanza one. One, Mr. Raven is a dash. Fill in the blank with the options bird or frog. Two, the name of the fox is dash. Fill in the blank with the options Raven or Reynard. Three, Mr. Raven had dash in his beak. Fill in the blank. With the options a piece of food or a bunch of leaves, B, stanza two, one, the fox calls the raven a dash bird. Fill in the blank with the options foolish or good looking. Two, the fox asks the raven to dash. Fill in the blank with the options dance or sing. Three. The raven and the fox live in the dash. Fill in the blank with the options trees or woods. C, stanza three, one. The raven dash that he croaked. Options remembered or forgot. Two, the raven opened its beak to dash, eat or sing. Three. The dash fell down. Options: food or raven. D. Stanza four. One. The fox dash at the raven. Options: laughed or looked. Two. It is not dash to be too proud of oneself. Options: wise or unwise. Three. The raven learnt a. Dash, options: lesson or teaching. Page number fifteen. Number two, read the poem again and match the words in column A with their meanings in column B. Check your answers with your teacher and your classmates. Under column A, seven words are written. These are one perched, two morsel. Three, seek. Four, pride. Five, eyed. Six, limb. Seven, woods. 
Under column B, probable meanings have been given. Match these meanings with the correct word. And these meanings are A. A small piece of food. B. Looked with interest at something. C. Feeling that you are better than others. D. Sat on a branch. E. To look for something. F. A smaller area of forest with similar kind of trees. G. Branch of a tree. Let us think and reflect. 1. There are four pictures shown in the bottom of this page. Number them in the order that they happen in the poem. On the left hand top, a picture is shown. In this picture, a fox is looking greedily at a crow sitting at a tree branch. On the left hand bottom, a crow is shown picking up a chapati in his beak. On the right hand top, a fox is shown running away with a roti in his mouth and the crow is looking at the running fox. On the right hand bottom, a fox is shown looking at the falling roti from the branch of the tree from the beak of a crow. Now, number these pictures in the correct order as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Page number 16 2. Read the following lines and answer the questions that follow. A. Sir Raven, you are a handsome bird. Such feathers! If you would only sing, the birds of these woods would call you king. 1. Such feathers refer to dash feathers. A. Shiny and beautiful. B. Black and dull. C. Grey and long. D. Short and unattractive. 2. Why would the birds of the woods call the raven king? 3. Why does the fox address the raven as Sir? B. The raven, who did not see the joke, forgot that his voice was just a croak. He opened his beak in his foolish pride. 1. Why did the raven open his beak? 2. Complete the following with one word from the given lines. Fox. Clever. Raven, dash, fill in the blank. 3. Why does the raven forget that his voice is just a croak? 4. How does Reynard make the raven sing? 5. Why does Reynard say that pride is not wise? 6. Give one reason why the teaching is quite a surprise. 7. Imagine someone praises you too much. How would you react? Let us learn. 1. Write the rhyming words from the poem. One has been done for you. There are four sky blue boxes shown in the bottom of this page. Stanza 1. A. Limp. Dash. Him. B. Dash. Fill in the blank. Stanza 2. A. Word. Dash. B. Dash, dash. Stanza 3. A. Joke. Dash. B. Dash, dash. Stanza 4. A. No. Dash. B. Dash, dash. Page number 17. 2. Study the underlined words in the poem. A. For the raven held in his great big beak. Here, big and beak are underlined. The words big and beak begin with the same B sound. B. The song of sweet birds. Here, song and sweet are underlined. Alliteration is a repetition of consonant sounds at the beginning of words. When two or more words together begin with the same sound, it is called alliteration. Now, page number 18.
pick another example of alliteration from stanza 2. 3. Choose the correct opposites from the box and complete the table. There are two extra words that you will not need. Wise, happy, humility, flew, remembered, notice, dim, cried, silly. There's a table given below with two headings as words and opposites. There are seven words given under the heading words. 1. Perched 2. Forgot 3. Foolish 4. Pride 5. Laughed 6. Ignore 7. Glow There are blank spaces in front of each word. Write opposite words. Use any four words from the table to make sentences of your own. Page number 18 Let us listen. You will listen to what the crow did after he lost his food. As you listen, mark the given statements as true or false. Refer to page 37 for transcript. A. The crow was unhappy that he lost his food. B. The crow thought that his lovely feathers made him smart. C. The crow wanted to tell his friends not to be proud. There are blank spaces in front of each sentence. Fill in the blank. Let us speak. Narrate the poem in the form of a story. Give a different ending to the story. You may begin like this. This is a story about a clever fox named Reynard and Mr. Raven. One day. Let us write. Now, write the story you narrated in the form of a conversation. Remember to write only the actions for the raven as he has food in his mouth and does not speak. You may begin like this. Reynard. Good morning, Mr. Raven. You seem to be awake so early. Mr. Raven just nods his head. Reynard. Oh, Mr. Raven, you look... Page number 19. Let us explore. Origami is an art of folding objects out of paper to create both two-dimensional and three-dimensional objects. Let us make stick puppets and enact the poem. You may take the help of the pictures given. In the middle of this page, six steps have been shown through six pictures. In these pictures, these steps tell you how to use paper to make the shape of a fox. In the bottom of this page, eight pictures have been shown. By following these pictures, you can make a crow made with paper and use them in your story. Note, you may use the puppets while narrating the story. Purvi, you were just listening to this audiobook. Textbook of English for Grade 6. Narration, Babla Kocher and Richa Sayal. Technical Coordination, Bati Langlingdo. Sound Recordist, Manju Kumari. Assistance in Production, Soumya Malik. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Choudhury. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.